And uh, we'll get ready to start the show in a second. I want you just to see a little bit of the Goldsworthy home. These folks are, look at them run. <laughs> They're standing around in the kitchen where the, uh, they have a turkey in the oven. Cloris, everything under control? Uh, just a minute now. We're just getting things to <laughs> <laughs> Okay. Well, Cloris is rearranging things and remodeling. Put a coat of paint on the house while you're at it, Cloris, if you can. <laughs> She's been so busy today. Uh, how do you do? Nice to see you. These folks are in the loge seating area, and the tickets here are, what, 8 to $15? What a bargain, huh? Okay. Come on through here. Uh, ladies and gentlemen, uh, how about a nice hand for the show? Of course, here's Frank Owens and the Symphony Orchestra, and we're officially beginning now from the Goldsworthy Home in Fresco, Iowa. How are you? I feel like Phil Donahue. Now, welcome to the show. How are you folks today? Fine. Are you having the time of your life? Yeah. Okay. Now, you know, of course, that uh, every ticket holder here gets a shot at the mobile home out back, huh? <laughs> uh, don't you believe a word of it. Uh, welcome to the show. We have to pause here for a couple of commercials. Ms. Cloris Leachman, herself an Iowan. Is that correct? That's right. Iowan? Okay. She will be joining us in a couple of minutes. We'll be right back. <laughs> Let me ask you this, Al. Have you ever tried Winky's cow paste? I don't know if I ever did or not. Thank you. Thank you very much, and welcome back to the show. We're coming to you this morning from the living room of Howard and Jane Goldsworthy. They live in Cresco, Iowa. It's the northeastern corner of the state of Iowa, and uh, we got a second. I want you to at least uh, take a look at uh, Jane's parents. This is Mr. and Mrs. Vandermeer. Nice to have you folks here this morning, and thank you for the rest of the studio audience. Thank you folks for being here. Thank you. So it's our living room audience this morning, and uh, we're having more fun than humans should be allowed to have here today. Uh, my first guest grew up in this part of the country. She left to become a movie and television star. Four Emmys, one Oscar later. She's back today. Please welcome Ms. Cloris Leachman. Nice to see you here. Where exactly did you grow up? Uh, in, uh, right on Route 6. Right there on the road, huh? In a little, well, <laughs> yes. Right back uh, from the road on an acreage at 5017 Hubble Avenue. Uh -huh. And it was east of Des Moines, about three miles, and just before Altoona. Altoona? Yes, talking to the moose's head, I know. Altoona uh, being Altoona, Iowa? Mm -hmm. I didn't realize there was an Altoona. There's an Altoona, Pennsylvania, you know. I don't even think I was ever in Altoona, but I remember it, uh, the Thiel yeah. kids lived down a couple of, about a, oh, three quarters of a mile down. What, was the uh, topography anything like what we have here? Uh, there was no uh, hill that like that that I remember. It was uh, more rolling. Yeah. yeah. This is quite beautiful. Yeah, this is, now this is a this is a view out of uh, one of the living room windows here. This is just wonderful. I yeah. think we'll do this show from these people's home every day. I we'll think so. <laughs> We'll get you a motel on the outskirts of town. Uh, how old were you when you when you left Iowa? Can I ask you that? I guess I can. Well, let's see. I went to Northwestern when I was 15. 15? A college kid summer, at 15. Uh -huh. but, uh, as a cherub. Uh -huh. Then I got a scholarship to Northwestern later uh, to go to college. Uh -huh. So I guess when I was about 18, I left and... Uh, I went back every once in a while. Uh, would you sometimes uh, miss being in Iowa? I talked to some people yesterday, and they pretty com committed to staying here. Well, this house is a lot warmer than ours was. I remember I used to just stand by the hot air register and say, Oh, Mama, it's so cold. And she'd say, Get to work. <laughs> so I didn't complain too much. Or I'd go down and shovel coal in the, in the furnace once in a while. But um, it was cold. Yeah. And we slept in an, in an unheated attic upstairs three little girls i was the oldest and we'd go up this little tiny stairway to the attic and uh the window was always wide open and the snow would come in we'd have the peepee -pee bucket there what did chloris said what what did chloris say one down you know bring the bucket and i was always the last one down of course <laughs> that bucket was up there for who, days who, i remember who, we tried who? to sell it no it's all right 
Who, who emptied the bucket? Who, uh, who well, job was Well, once in a while, my mother would go up there and rescue us, but once I did, if I remembered, I did. Yeah. Do, do we have, uh, does that ring a bell with anyone no, here? No, you're a... all well situated. <laughs> well. We lived in a little brown shingle house. My father was um, um, part of the Leachman Lumber Company in Des Moines, and there are a lot of little Leachmen still there, mm -hmm. all growing up, more generations. And... Um, my mother wanted a house with a chimney up the front mm -hmm. and so he drew a little house on the on a piece of brown uh, wrapping paper and uh, the house was built from that it wasn't even there were, weren't even any plans for it and it was a little brown shingle house that set back and did you ever uh, do any professional show business stuff when you were a kid in iowa mm -hmm. it didn't seem like that though it didn't seem like showbiz or it just uh, I think the fortunate thing for me was that everything seemed appropriate to my age and not forced or uh, pushed in any way. <coughs> mm, there'd be a dancing lesson once a week in Des Moines and, and then a piano lesson once a week. And uh, Oh, the Andy, Andy Williams and his brothers mm -hmm. were little kids. Uh, Andy was about a year younger than I was. and. Uh, so I had a crush on his next older brother, Dick, who was a year older than I. They're also from Iowa? Uh-huh, and they would come out for a picnic once in a while with their aunt, with whom I took piano lessons, mm -hmm. you see. Cornelia Williams Hurlbut, who's still teaching in Des Moines. Cornelia Williams, Williams Hurlbut. Hurlbut. Yes. Mm -hmm. Yes. Yes. <laughs> <laughs> and um, what else? Oh, so I'd ride the streetcar once in a while. Well, Streetcars, I guess, are long gone, aren't they? To get into town. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Yeah, but... Um, I remember it must have been during the Depression or after, after the Depression when uh, I was very struck after living in, so isolated out in the country till I was seven years old and then began to go to school and yeah. do other things and take lessons that um, there were so many, it was just all gray on the streetcar. Everybody was a gray person. Hmm. What is it? Not, not well, enough dead uh, or uh, dying vitamin or C vitamins or Vitamins or whatever. I, I, or maybe it was hard. I don't know, but I do remember making up a, a promise to myself if i ever grew up and got rich i would give money to anybody who would smile who, oh just, is that uh-huh and i also <laughs> i'll be darned gee well, later i thought maybe you'd start a telethon for gray people uh, uh, we have to but pause i think here anyway I, my biggest decision in my life that determined my whole life was that i was determined never to be ground down into a gray person by anybody or anything or life or anything well, i think you've achieved that I th you are not a gray person well i'm <laughs> no, you're, you're bubbly, effervescent, e ebullient, and uh, full of life. And thank you. Yes. Uh, we have to pause for a commercial, and we're going to make her a great person. <laughs> have, you ever, have you ever tried Winky's cow paste? No. Would you like to try a can? I suppose. Your sister what her, her did what? Well, I was seeing the, the, the view here. Um, from our kitchen window, the, the one of the love, two lovely things I remember, um, one of them was the sun streaming in the kitchen, mm -hmm. that Iowa sun. And then uh, sometimes my mother, who had this great big cooker, oh, she took it everywhere. We uh, I have so many things to tell you. <laughs> <laughs> no, but uh, anyway, the view out the back window was... Uh, this acreage where we lived, and then uh, a pasture and a stream and some cows, which weren't ours, but we had the advantage of that. And sometimes my mother would make us a picnic lunch. Mm -hmm. And we, those three pans that came in the cooker, one would be filled with spaghetti and one had some cake and something else, and we'd take it out and put it in the crook of the tree out in the, in the uh, pasture. But this one time... You take the spaghetti out and put it in the tree? Well, it was in a, these three pans with the uh -huh. tops on them. But I remember my uh, cousins live right next door too, the another Leachman mm -hmm. family, and uh, Iowa is my crawling sister, with Leachmans, huh? Crawling. My sister wet her pants, and the spaghetti fell out of the tree, and the chocolate pudding. I mean, it, we we all had to come home in yeah. disarray. And yeah. <laughs> um, what was I going to ask you? Uh, what What do you like to do for fun? You ever get drunk or anything? Now? What do yeah. I? Or then? Yeah, now? now. For fun. Gosh. <laughs> <laughs> I don't separate fun from work. I know that much. It's, it, it's all fun. Yeah. It, if it isn't, then I think I'm doing something wrong. I mean, if you don't fill out every mm -hmm. thing you do and make the most of it, uh, it could be awfully boring or, 
or disappointing or or worrisome. I mean, you'd think, what's it all for? I think it's, I suppose, just to connect with each other and, you know, like dogs do. You sort of sniff around, you know, you're doing okay and how you're, <laughs> you're black, you're white, you're spotted, you're uh, tall, you're short, and what are we going to, you know, let's get this accomplished or solve this or yeah. pep this one up or, you know. So you just sort of go through life sniffing. <laughs> yeah, I think that's true. <laughs> um, I was engaged once to this wonderful young man, but he said moderation in all things, and I thought, oh no, that'd be a dull yeah, life. Too no bad, he was a good yeah. one. But well, he said I. <laughs> he said all he ever remembered of me was uh, combing my hair and blowing my nose. So I guess sniffing through life yeah. would probably be pretty accurate. Well, those aren't real fond memories, but. Uh, well, I was allergic to everything in Iowa. I remember a lot really? of hay fever, Have but I got over that. How did speaking of allergic? How do you like the the motel? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> but, but <laughs> well, the, mar the marvelous thing is, <laughs> uh -huh. um, as you walk in, there's this long, long hallway. Uh -huh. Once you start toward the room, there's this long, long, long hallway with, with squares of, of wallpaper all the way along, uh -huh. different wallpaper. And as we got to the rooms, we realized that was left over from the rooms, and so they're utilized in sort of panels in the... Well, this is not a, a motel in Cresco. We must point that out now. This is down the road, way down yeah, the road. Yeah, but I want you to know thing. I slept very well and sorely needed it. I've been traveling a lot. It was curious. Every time the elevator would go up or down, my entire room would vibrate <laughs> viciously. I, I, I think my room may have been at one time an elevator. Uh, at any rate, uh, your daughter, <laughs> your daughter uh, uh, Dinah is here. Now, daughter Dinah. Dinah. Now, uh, why did you uh, drag Dinah along? Did she, was she eager to come I think back? I'm to coming Iowa? here by myself. <laughs> <laughs> well, I. Let's, usually let's introduce Dinah. Tuck this is Dinah a, in my back How old pocket. is Dinah? Come on out. Dinah, here, Dinah. did you decide Dinah to be England, 14 or 15? <laughs> For heaven's sakes, don't bust anything. These are... Well, don't bust anything, for heaven's sakes. Dinah, how are you? <laughs> <laughs> you having any fun here? Yeah. Uh, what do you want to do when you get older? I think dance. Yeah? Are you taking some dance classes and stuff? Yeah. Yeah, that's terrific. Uh, I'm real happy to meet you, Dinah, and I'm glad you came along with your mom. Now, you guys are going to hang around, right? You're going to be here for the rest of the show? Well, I hope so. I want some of that good dinner I smell okay. cooking out there. Uh, I think we can, I think we can uh, accommodate you there. Uh, Doris Leachman and her daughter, Diane. Chris Paul will be joining us right after this.